water is essential for life, and in the high desert climate of Colorado, is in very short supply. Aurora receives less than 15 inches of precipitation a year on average, so most of our water comes from snow melt that begins over 180 miles away. A part of the dam begins to have a dressed up look as the base coat is applied to the bottom 70 feet, providing a smooth surface on which the final coats will be installed. Since the 1950s, Aurora has worked hard to develop a secure and predictable water supply. But it took a potentially cataclysmic event to remind us that sometimes nature is in charge. The drought of 2002 and 2003 left Aurora in dire straits. The city had less than a nine month supply of water well below acceptable standards. Aurora Water staff had to find a solution, one that met the city's immediate needs and protected it against droughts in the future. 54 different scenarios were reviewed. One stood out. The Prairie Waters Project. Great ideas, great technology, great water. I'm Jackie Polisi, and I'm going to take you on a tour of Aurora's Prairie Waters Project, a water supply system that can deliver up to 3.3 billion gallons of water to the city each year. Prairie Waters combines state-of-the-art technology with an environmentally responsible approach, delivering Aurora residents the same high-quality water they've always received. The bulk of Aurora's water comes from mountain runoff, surface water that's renewed each year through snowmelt but relying heavily on that supply has its drawbacks. Weather patterns can be unpredictable, so it's difficult to know exactly how much water the city will get each year from snowmelt. In some years, as was the case in the 2002 drought, there just isn't enough water to serve Aurora's 310,000 residents who needed it. Aurora Water wanted to come up with a solid drought protection plan. That's how the Prairie Waters Project evolved. There was a lot of water in the South Platte that the city owned, but wasn't using. Aurora had never developed the means to recapture the mountain water that eventually made its way back to the South Platte. Since new water supplies in Colorado are virtually unavailable, Aurora decided to better utilize its existing supply. They designed the Prairie Waters Project, a $650 million water supply system that recaptures water near the South Platte in Brighton and transports it through 34 miles of pipeline to a state-of-the-art purification facility near the Aurora Reservoir. The Prairie Waters Project starts here. 17 wells pull the water through hundreds of feet of sand and gravel to clean out impurities. It's called riverbank filtration. It's been used in Europe for more than a century and has proven to be especially effective in removing pharmaceuticals. As some other water utilities struggle to find ways to remove these new contaminants from their supply, Aurora Water is ahead of the curve with some of the most advanced purification technology in the country. Once the riverbank filtration process is complete, the next natural cleansing step is a process called aquifer recharge and recovery. The water is pumped into basins where it percolates through more sand and gravel over a longer period of time. This is a continuation of the river bank filtration and removes even more contaminants. From here, a pipeline carries the water to three different pump stations. The pump stations lift the water almost 1,000 feet to the Peter D. Binney Purification Facility located near Aurora Reservoir. Once the water makes it to the purification facility, it undergoes some of the most advanced purification processes in the country. It is the final leg in the Prairie Waters Project. This 70-acre campus is designed to allow for easy expansion, yet it blends in with the natural surroundings. The facility includes ultraviolet oxidation, the most powerful process available for water treatment. With 72 tubes each and weighing more than 4,000 pounds, these ultraviolet units complete the job that the riverbank filtration started. High-intensity ultraviolet rays destroy unwanted contaminants, including trace amounts of chemical, viruses, and other compounds. 
Additional filtering takes place as water flows through a deep bed of granular coal and sand to remove any remaining particles. The final step is to push the water through activated carbon filters, just like larger versions of the one in water pitchers you can use at home. This last step before chlorination ensures the water has that great, award-winning taste we all expect from Aurora's water. This facility can treat 50 million gallons of water each day. Together with the rest of Aurora Water's mountain supply, the Prairie Waters Project provides residents with the drought protection they need and the additional water supply to accommodate residents of the future. The Prairie Waters Project. Great ideas. Great technology. Great water.